Hello guys, my name is Joshua2i and welcome to my 90 overall team review. Yes, I finally got my team to over 90 overall and I've done it in less than two months because uh, FIFA Mobile got released um, early November. So that's good doing it under two months. Let's go straight into my team. Uh, straight off the bat, you can see I changed my formation to the 4 3 3 Devend. And that's because I have got the icon, Emmanuel Batty. Like, I got an icon in my squad, Emmanuel Batty. Like, how awesome is that to say? Um, yeah, all that was required for him was an 86 rated overall and 5 French players. So, it's pretty, it was pretty easy to get. I didn't actually spend nothing, like I didn't spend no players to add to my team to get um, Petit because I already had, um, let me just show you the five players, I had Ariola. I had, uh, why am I going on train player, it's the swap option, I had Griezmann, that's two French players, Let's just put Zardes back in there. I had Pierre Biane. Yes, he's French, would you believe? So that's three. I already had Kante. That's four. And who was the last one? Oh, yeah. Uh, Rabiol as well. So I didn't spend a single coin to get uh, Petit. So job well done for me. And yeah, let's just show you his stats. 81 pace, 81 agility, 92 defending, 94 physical, 84 passing and 83 shooting. A perfect CDM if I ever seen one. He He's good enough to play in a cam position to be perfectly honest. Because, I mean he hasn't got, he hasn't got high finishing but he has 92 shot power, 92 long shots as well. So, centre mid maybe but a CDM will do. Um, yeah, let's go through the rest of the team. I've got everyone master, apart from Bia Biani, because, just let me just show you guys uh, uh, the reason exactly. Uh, let me go to Atletico Madrid. I am trying to get Gaitan. Um, I need 115 more rival points. I've counted them up through the days. Um, I need to wait three more, three more days, obviously. Uh, Wednesday the 20th of December and I would have 380 rival points which is enough to get Gaitan and you know what I'll show you his stats as well and uh, yeah all my team will be master because he's already an 86 rated I already have the 5 plus boost which is an acceleration so it'll be a 91 overall he has 89 pace 79 shooting 87 passing and 91 agility when I level him up just once, he should have 80 finishing. So basically, he'll have over 80 shooting, which I hope he will have. And hopefully 90 pace as well. Let's go straight back into our team review, what we should be doing. Um, let's start from the goalkeeper, because why not? Sergio Romero. I can't tell you how many times this guy has saved me in attack mode. Before, I used to um, concede about 6, 7, 8 goals against 91, 92, 93 overall teams. But now, because he's turned master and everything, um, i played a lot more attack modes and I normally concede just about 4, 5 or 6 goals now. And that's thanks to Romero. Uh, so yeah, 93... Div uh, I always say divining because it's nearly the same spelling. But 93 diving, 91 reflexes, 88 positioning and 81 handling. A great goalkeeping card. Goalkeeping card. A great goalkeeper card that, well, I should suggest you to get because he's actually quite good in the game. Um, yeah, obviously left wing uh, 93 Ronaldo. I actually got him to 93 due to the skill boost, which requires him to get the 90 dribbling. Obviously making him do the rainbow flick. Uh, so yeah, so Ronaldo... Does Ronaldo have any stat near 90 yet? Well, he's got 91 agility, but I'd prefer that to be pace. 
But yeah, he nearly has 90 shooting, which obviously is good for any uh, attack uh, player. Zardes, our main man from day one. We haven't swapped him quite of yet. Uh, 103 pace, 85 agility, 78 passing, 78 passing, 78 shooting, 69 passing. I meant, and 89 physical. Uh, when I leveling, when I level him up just once more, he should have over 70 uh, passing, which means every stat should be over 70, and hopefully 90 physical as well. So a great card, nevertheless. Obviously, Biarni, he's going to be swapped for Guy Turn. He actually got a good card as well, but it's just his shooting and his physical that's letting him down. Uh, Gaitan doesn't have a lot of physical as well, but he definitely has more shooting, passing, uh, a little uh, less p pace. But I prefer to have some wingers that have good amount of shooting, you know. Because it's not always going to be Zardes that's going to be shooting the goal. So, yeah, obviously 91 Rooney. Uh, got him to 91 shooting, 86 passing, 84 agility, 87 physical, and 78 pace. Now, his shot power is disgusting. 97 shot power. He could basically shoot from anywhere and he'll go in, literally. But yeah, Rooney's our only centre mid, considering we're playing a 4-3-3 defend. Uh, Conte, obviously another one that's been on our team since day one. 85 pace, 83 agility, 85 defending, 90 physical now, 81 passing and 67 shooting. Like, I, I, I'm just a bit ashamed that his shooting is that low. Considering that, I know he hasn't really scored that many goals in real life, but still, he should deserve a bit more shooting than that. Obviously, you guys have saw Emmanuel Petit. Incredible card. I'll show you his advanced stats as well. 93 strength, 85 heading, 96 tackling, 93 marking, and 97 aggression. An amazing card. Along with 92 shot power and 92 long shot, obviously. Um, Masuaku. Again, every time I do a team review, I'm going to suggest you guys to buy him off the market. Because look, he's got 93 pace, 83 agility, 82 defending, 81 physical 81 passing and 68 shooting. Like, he's one of the best left backs in the game. Well, in other words, the most all rounded left back in the game as of yet. Because obviously, uh, I don't have the coins to buy, like, defenders such as Marcelo, Alaba, Alba. But Masuaku, though, is great considering his stats wise. He's advanced stats as well 85 strength. 91 tackling, 86 reactions, 92 crossing, and 79 positioning. We'll go up to 80 once um, the balance boost gets upgraded. Now, Florenzi. This card is actually insane. Um, of course, his master card. 90 pace, 84 agility, 81 shooting, 84 defending, 86 passing, and 80 physical for a right back, people. Like, honestly, I got Florenzi from Team Heroes just by doing the Roma match. And his card is actually insane. Look at all the 80 and the 90s on the detailed attributes. Um, the main ones, obviously, 76 strength, 91 positioning, 93 tackling, 89 reactions, and 90 crossing. And some others as well, 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 90 ball control. Uh, 87 shot power as well, considering he's shooting his only uh, 81. Uh, 87 aggression, 94 awareness, and 87 short passing. <laughs> Next, we have Mbemba. Now, what triggers me is, when I upgraded him to Master, I thought he would got, got over 80 pace, but no. But, one of his stats did go over 90, and that's his physical so yeah, 79 passing, 85 defending, and 90 physical. The rest of the stats are irrelevant for a defender. Um, he's detailed attributes. A um, bit bad uh, positioning, but obviously with a skill boost, it should go up pretty good. Uh, 92 tackling, 89 aggression, 74 awareness, and 80 reactions. Uh, his other main stats, 91 strength. 
83 heading, 82 shot power, uh, 81 marking and 82 sprint speed. So yeah, a great master card with 90 physical. And last but not least on our team, I got the new team of the week, Artemendi, which I'm pretty sure I did in the 89 team review. But yeah, I got him to master and he looks great. Um, he's similar to Mbemba as well, just got a little bit more or less pace. Well, a lot more pace, uh, 12 to be exact. Um, he has one less physical than Mbemba, but he has one more defending than Mbemba. But I think Otamendi thrashes Mbemba on the detail attributes uh, selection. Because the main one, he has 85 positioning, 85 reactions, 82 awareness, 91 tackling, and 100 aggression. Like, Jesus Christ, man. You don't want to be bullying him off the ball by any means. He also has 83 strength, 87 heading, uh, 87 composure as well, and 84 marking. Um, obviously, I've got 200k in my bank at the moment. I might be thinking of buying a different centre back um, for Otamendi or Mbemba because I want someone that has like over 80 pace um, and at least over 85 defending and 85 physical. But yet, yeah, I'm not uh, complaining about my team whatsoever. All we need to do is get Gaitan in right wing and our team is complete. So, I don't know the next time we'll do a team review, because obviously we've got to get to 91, and it might take a little bit more time, but it will happen. Oh, and before this video ends, guys, if you want to join um, my friend's league, uh, then feel free. For FC, it has 17 out of 32 members. We are 41,000 in the, um, the league rank, and we have over 11 million fans as well. Um, we're trying to stack up on league members. Our T, um, I mean, our league is pretty good. We win most of our tournaments uh, because everyone plays their turns. So, yeah, if you want to join, make sure you do. You ha oh, yeah, there's only one requirement. You have to be at least over 86 overall, and you've got to play all your turns. So that's the requirements you have to do. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the 90 overall team review. Remember to leave your team um, overall down below in the comments, guys. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I've been your boy, Joshua Tawai, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.